Hi everyone, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today I am sharing another tutorial in GeoGebra. How to show properties related to circles in class 9. So I have already discussed. It is a very good software. Can be used both online and offline. You can download it from the website as well as from Google Play Store in your mobile. So I have downloaded and kept in the icon on the desktop. I am opening a new one. Then left side is algebra uh, platform, right side is graphics platform. I don't need graphics now because I just, I don't need any graph. I only want a circle. So I'll right click on this platform, click on axis, then again right click and click on grids. Left click, left click, right click, menu will come, then left click for grid for graphics. I'm, I'm explaining in a very simple way each and every step. Next I'm showing what I'm going to show. So I'll click here A is equal to 2 that is slider. Slider is a very important, very, very useful tool. I'll explain later. So click on this red. Then there are again so many options are there. I'm going for text because I'm, I want to write what I'm going to do. I am writing that the pair of Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are complement supplementary. I am formatting this right up, right click on the writings, click left on object properties. Then the menu will come. I'll go for text here, small, big, extra small, medium. I'm clicking on medium. You can go for bold. You can go for color, click on color. You can make any color you like. You can make the background color also. I'm taking the yellow color. So I'm getting a nice writer. Next I'll go for to make a circle and a cyclic quadrilateral. So to draw the circle, there are again options to semicircle, semicircle arc, circular sector. I'm getting, going for circle center and radius so circle point i marked click on the screen then i am taking the radius as three so i am getting a circle now i don't need this c to be represent so if you are taking any anything under undesired that, that means you don't want it is done then delete it right click then delete click on this object only then we we'll, then right click show level it will hide the name then i'm making drawing a quadrilateral so i'll take this i'll go for this line click on this tri a small triangle in the corner again we'll find that line segment segment with given length ray i'm going for the segment so click on circle two points, three points, and your I am getting a circle quadrilateral. But I, I want to name myself ABCD and the center I want to name as your O. So right click on this point Clip the cursor on the point, right click, then rename, then capital O. O is the center. 
Next, I want to name as ABCD. So click on G. Keep the cursor on G. Right click, then rename. Left click, then it is A. Okay. Next is click on F. Right click, click on re rename, then B. Then again, keep on C E. I want to name as C. Click on rename then capital C, then keep on ABCD. Then I want to hide the name of line segment. So show level. Next keep on G, right click, then show level check. Right click, keep on F, right click, click on show level. Right click, click on show level. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD done. Next, I want to show the angle as sum of opposite angle is 180 degree. First going for A. So for A, I'll go for this angle. Here is angle. You can see the all the toolbars. You can explore yourself toolbar. Then first one is for measuring. Then click on line AD, click on line AB. It is showing, you can see that it is showing angle, your exterior angle, but I want the interior angle. So what I will do, I'll click on this, keep the cursor on the angle itself, this area, then right click, It will show angle between D, A, B. Right click, then click, left click on object property. That means I am formatting. What I am doing, I am click on basic. I first, I want that it should be between 0 to 180 degree. Immediately you can see that it is shifted to other side. I want the name as value only. So it will be only showing the value. Next, I will go for options to round off to zero decimal place then it will show you no decimal next i'll closing it and i am moving this angle to outside so that it is clearly visible next i'm going for angle c for c first i'll go for angle because i'm measuring the angle left click then any of this side containing angle c cd next cb you can see that it is showing angle beta is 98 degree but click on this angle anywhere it, when you'll show angle between cdb is beta i'll go for object properties and i'll write only it is value and it should be between 0 to 180 degree. Always check it, the angle should be 0 to 180 degree. Next. So you can now, next I'm moving, move or drag the select the object moving this 98 degree. You can see that this sum of 98 and 82 always makes you 180 degree, okay? Next, I'll go for B and D. Same procedure, I'll go for angle, then any side containing B, any side containing A. So it is showing name, I don't want the name. So I'll go objective properties, I'll click on basic, then 180 degree, then value. Then it will be move it, to a space where it will be visible. After that, I'll go for last angle, D. Again angle, so I, you must be very excited to do yourself. You can start doing, clicking on CD, click on DA. Again, it is showing the outer angle because 
I have not checked the option 0 to 180 degree. So 0 to 180 degree, then only value. So it is 68 degree. So I'm moving to a thing. So now a C plus A is 180 degree and B plus D is 180 degree. So I am saving it. File, save as. I am showing in the desktop and saving only. The name is sum of and opposite angles. So I have saved. Whenever I need, I can show to the students. Now, to it, I'll show the students. I'll go for view. I won't show them the algebra view. Only the page. Next, I want to move this picture to middle. So, where I'll go, move the graphics view. So, I can move all the things to middle after getting just see the magic what i want to show the children see i am moving a b c d all the points i can move to convince them so whatever will be the cycle quadrilateral the sum is pair of angles is always 180 degree so when they see in their own eyes or whatever we are changing, the value is remain same. So it will be in their memory for a longer time. So you can move, you can save, you can use it permanently for students after students. So I hope you have liked it. So don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.